The magical contract that will take all our financial issues away. What's it called again? The Judas contract. This deal is practically won. Billions. With a deal this big, you know we are going to have a lot of competition. You guys know Remy, right? He'll be handling things from here out. I think we need to get rid of Remy. How ruthless can you be? So you're going to sell Victoria out just like that? Sounds to me like you're scared of him. Now you know how vicious Charles can get. And he will eat you alive without me. You brought your work back home again. Oh, jeez, Tony. Why did you become so clingy? Are you listening to me at all or is, is my problem too boring? I don't understand. What? Were you saying something? You and I lobbying for the same deal wouldn't cause problems between us, would it? <laughs> of course not. Victoria is like a sister to me. We have a huge problem. We have to do something about Helen. I mean, she's far from being perfect, but she can never do anything to hurt me. All you have to do is move a large amount of money from Gordon's capital reserve into Remy's account. There's no way I'm going through with that plan without finding a scapegoat to take the fall for me. I wonder who's worse, Gideon or Charles. Charles is a snake. Well, you just became useless to me. Charlie boy. <laughs> I like this guy. By the way, there's someone I want you to help us set up. Ah! Oh we can crush you and your pathetic company. One down. One to go. With the amount of money that is at stake in this deal, anybody can do anything. Everything else, everyone else is expendable. We were so freaking close. How could you let this slip from your grasp? I mean, we've been working on this project together for weeks and you've still kept me in the dark. You ruined everything. No mistakes next time. I never make mistakes. Do you have a plan? 